Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and I just updated my Nexus 7 to Android 4.2 and wanted to show you a few of the features I found quite interesting in the update. On the lock screen, you now have the ability to add widgets. What's odd is that you can't select from all the widgets you have installed on your Android device, just a select few. I'm not exactly sure I appreciate the default formatting of the clock, but hey, some widgets on the lock screen are better than none. You can still get to your notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen, specifically on the left side, because if you swipe down from the right side, you can pull down a settings menu. We've seen a feature like this in various Android builds, but now it's built into the OS itself. And speaking of settings, there are a few new features I wanted to show you in here. If I click display, or I'm sorry, tap display, then daydream, you can pull up settings for a screensaver on Android now. And I have Google Currents installed, and I'm just going to show you a preview of what that will look like. If I press start now. Neat, huh? Daydream will kick in while it's docked, charging, or either one. In Android 4.2 and beyond, you now have the ability to have multiple users on the same computer. And yes, this is a tablet computer. Are you a fan of gesture typing? It's now built in. And it works well. And let's not forget, if you have a Google TV like I do, you're going to love this feature. With very little configuration needed, I have paired this tablet with my TV. Watch. It works. Google also unlocked the full resolution of that camera. It's not bad, but it ain't great either. Overall, I think Google did a very good job with the update. In fact, and maybe this is just me and I don't have any empirical evidence to back it up, but this Nexus 7 seems a hell of a lot more responsive than it was before. And that, to me, is perfect.